She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. I'm so excited. Today we have a special guest in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and it's Steve, and he's my friend on YouTube, and he stopped by. He's been traveling in the area, right? I have. We uh, saw the Capitol yesterday, but I had to stop by the test kitchen. Yes, you had to stop on by, and we're going to be making a pie today because I saw the weather out there. It's so pretty, oh. and we really need a pie to cool down with. Exactly. When you're out on the mall, it's perfect. Yes, Perfect. yes, and a minty pie too. Something cool and refreshing. And you know, we all have to save money these days, and we we have to think of different ways to save money. And I saw that they had all these free mints all over the place, and at your hotel and at restaurants and things like that. Butter mints, they're so great. And um, did you know you could make these into a pie? I had no idea. I'm going to show you how to make it up next here on the Trailer Park Cooking Show with Steve here too. So we'll be right on back here soon and we're going to show you how to make a pie out of those free butter mints you find everywhere at restaurants and hotels and all that kind of stuff. We'll be right back. Come on Steve. You'll need the following ingredients to make my frozen butter mint pie. One cup baking mix. One fourth cup cocoa. One fourth cup butter. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Half cup milk. One cup butter mints. Two cups of whipping cream. Two cups mini marshmallows. Three tablespoons of boiling water. This pie is super simple to make, and I know, Steve, it uses the whipping cream, and I know that's expensive, but sometimes you can get a coupon or one of those savings cards, and it's on sale, something like that, but it really does make this pie cool, creamy, and refreshing, and with the buttermint flavor to it, it really makes this pie a winner, and I think it's going to make a winner for everyone this summer when they go to picnics and potlucks with it. Oh, exactly, exactly. Sometimes you just have to spend the money to make it worthwhile. Very true, and we're going to be making our own crust today. All you need is a pie tin, and those are real cheap too at the dollar store, or you could use a real one too. And we're going to make like a chocolate crust. Mmm, chocolate. He likes chocolate. I love chocolate. Everyone loves chocolate, I think. And the baking mix. Baking mix is super simple and just a few ingredients to make your pie crust. You just press it in there and we're going to make it right up next. Making the crust is really simple with this and don't be afraid because everyone always chickens out and buys the, the store bought crust but this one we're using the baking mix and we put in the one fourth cup of the butter, the one uh, cup of the baking mix, the uh, two tablespoons of the brown sugar and also the three tablespoons of the boiling water and um, of course the butter too. You can't beat that. And the one fourth cup of the butter and actually we're going to mix it around here. It's going to get kind of crumbly at first and then it's going to start getting together like a dough and 
Um, at that point, you're going to press it into a greased pie plate, which we're going to do in just a moment. We've pressed our chocolate dough mixture into the pie plate here, Steve, and we're going to make little uh, foil things to go around just the edges there so they don't burn there. And that way, you can use one of those fancy pie things that keep it from burning, but just pieces of foil work. And we're going to pop this in the oven at 450 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. you got to keep your eye on it here. So let's go ahead and pop it in now. Set your timer. Here we have our cooled crust here, and it's been set aside and cooled down, and it smells like chocolate. Now we're going to make the filling for it with the butter mints. Making the mixture for the butter mint pie is super simple. All you need to do is put in the one cup of the mints into like a saucepan. So go ahead, see, um, grab a one cup of the mints and dump that in there. And we're going to mix this with a half cup of whole milk. So go ahead and add a half cup of the whole milk. We're going to put this on the stove on medium heat for, well, until it melts down. And I'm going to have to tell you right away, Steve, it's not going to look pretty. And um, I guess pink, green, and yellow make sort of a brown color. But this is not going to look pretty. Well, and as long as it tastes good, it, who cares what it looks like? Very true. And the, the final pie will look good. But just the secret ingredient here, the butter mint mixture, not pretty at all. So I'm going to let you get working on that stove there. And I'm going to start getting the rest of the things ready. How's it going, Steve? Are the, the mints? Oh, yes, they are. They're melting down. Oh, that color. I don't know. That's sort of an amber kind of brown color, and it's kind of chunky with the, the leftover whatever was in the butter mints there, but wow. Um, it does really turn out really pretty in the end. I promise you that. I've been, and very minty, too. I'm, I'm trusting you on this one. Uh, you'll try it later. We have our mint mixture here, Steve, and, well, it doesn't look pretty at all, but we've got to cool this down for about an hour or two in the refrigerator, so we're just going to take a separate bowl and just pour it on in there. Be careful, Jolene. It's very pretty. There we go. And we're going to pop this in the fridge just for about two or so hours so it can cool down. Putting together the creamy butter mint mixture is really simple, and you need a bowl, and we're going to take the mint mixture, you want to pour that on in there, right. it's been cooling down, not very pretty yet, and to this, we're going to add two cups of the heavy whipping cream here, we're just going to pour that on in there. Looks better already. It does, it does. and. Um, we're going to add some food coloring here in just a bit so you can really color it to your liking. And we're going to beat this at high speed until it gets nice and fluffy. We have our mixture here now that has been all beat up and we've added some color to it, Steve. It looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. And now we're going to fold in two cups of the mini marshmallows. Now we're going to put the mixture into our pie crust. So just go ahead and just put it on in there and mound it on up. Now you can put some more whipped cream up on top of it and you can do designs or whatever you like. But I just put it on in there and maybe drop a few more marshmallows up on top. There we go. Thank you. You are welcome, Joe. There we go. Sometimes you have enough to make two pies. It just depends on the day of your uh, whipping cream fluffing here. And you can fill it up as much as you want here. There we go. Go. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the marshmallows up on top of ours to make it look pretty. 
There we go. And this needs to go in the freezer for probably about eight hours because you really want it to freeze and uh, it's going to be cool and refreshing. So let's go ahead and put it in the freezer. Set your timer. Steve and I have some of our buttermint pie that we made today here on the Trailer Park Cooking Show and we're going to taste it now. Here we go. I taste the buttermint and the chocolate and the marshmallows really add to it too. I'm really surprised how how minty it is. I, I did not think it'd be this minty. And it's not overpowering. It doesn't taste no. like gum or anything like no. that. Um, like the chewing gum. Um, it, it tastes like a nice mint, like fresh mint almost with that. And with a slight hint of the butter too. And I really hope you all get a chance to make this and Steve helped today. Anybody oh. can do it if Steve helped. If I, if I can do it, anyone can do it, let me tell you. Really, and it's so simple. Don't be afraid of using the whipping cream and it's just a great summer pie that I hope you get a chance to make. And if you do, send me some pictures too. Can't wait to see those. And um, I, I really hope you get a chance to subscribe too because we've got more cooking shows coming out soon from the Trailer Park Test Kitchen here. and. You're going to learn more easy tips and budget tricks that, you know, you can save your budget. And, and this definitely saves it because those mints were free. Absolutely. And, I mean, you got to save it somehow. So, uh, be sure to tell your friends to subscribe and um, all that. And today we had my special guest, Steve, here. Be sure to subscribe to Steve, too. And um, we'll put up his uh, little uh, channel here throughout the video that you can subscribe to him, too. And... Tune in next time where I show you how to make tasty budget treats. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Visit me on the web at cookingwithjolene.com. I love you and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. Bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Visit my store at jolinesugarbaker.com.